Welcome to Fright Night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be talking about Fright Night right now. <laughs> so, in case you're in case you're wondering, Fright Night is getting remade. Now, here are my honest thoughts about this, and this is this is one of the reasons why I'm doing a review like this. I am a fan of Fright Night. Now, I mean, this is pretty much one of my favorite films, and to hear it being, re to hear it being remade, you know, really kind of pisses me off, but leaves me curious. It pisses me off as a fan, but it leaves me curious as a critic. So, with that said, here are my Fright Night predictions. Um, now. Before, actually, you know what, before I get into my prediction, let's talk a little bit about what Fright Night is about. Charlie Brewster, who is the main character of the original Fright Night, finds out that his next door neighbor is a vampire. Some shit happens, and then he teams up with his longtime, um, his longtime idol Peter Vincent, who is uh, a TV host of, of a show called Fright Night, which is where the movie title comes from. So... You know, I'm not gonna give you the whole story, but I will say this: it's a wonderful film to watch if you don't care about inconsistencies, or <laughs> like if you don't really give much of a shit about a story, but you're about gore and and you know awesome uh, traditional special effects. And this is the movie that's right up your alley. It's really the reason why I like this film. I mean, it's not a terrible. It does not have a terrible story, but I'm not gonna say it's the most amazing story. In the world. I mean, let's be realistic. It is Fright Night after all. But that's not to say that it's an ultimately bad story either. It's it's a fairly decent story. It barely gets by with what it has, but what it what it lacks in story and what it lacks in continuity, it basically makes up for in just over the top gory and hilarious fucking scenes. So when you hear that this movie's being remade and looking at the trailers of how serious they're trying to make it. It's an in it's an interesting take to to move it in, but this movie is mainly iconic for its gore and hilarity and cheesiness. I mean, let's be realistic. With the name like Fright Night, nobody was expecting to see like a Coppola esque of a film, even though it does have vampires and somehow a werewolf in there, but that's not even really explained. I'm getting off topic though. So with all that said, here's my prediction for how this movie might turn out. It's it's not gonna be cheesy. I, I already have that in my head already. That's my prediction so far, that this movie will not be cheesy. Will it suck? Um, it might suck. Honestly, like, to, I'm not gonna just say it's gonna flat out suck, period. I will say, uh, on, a, on, a, on a percentage scale of how much it can suck, it's gonna suck on a good maybe 60%. A little bit over you know, well, a little bit over, period. You know, um, you know, 60% is gonna be suckage and 40% might be worth the watch. And, you know, to me, that's, that's still a gamble. You know, I might, I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to remember this. I know the, that same week Conan comes out, but I felt like, you know, and I kept debating whether or not to do this. So, I, I, it came to my, I came to my final, like, conclusion that I, I want to see this I honestly do uh, you know I, I honestly do but if it does suck I'm not just gonna groan and bitch and fucking rant like I did with Green Lantern I mean well honestly I, I promise fucking nothing <laughs> actually I mean if it pisses me off it's gonna piss me the fuck off I'm just trying what I'm basically trying to say is I will review it though I mean I will give it a review as much as me like as much as me, uh, as much as my, uh, I'll probably bitch about how terrible it is if it is fucking terrible. But uh, it'll be a miracle if it's, if this movie's even fucking good. I, I love the cheesiness of this film. I do, and this is why, it, to me, remakes don't make any fucking sense because you're you're pleasing really no one with these things. You know, you you don't please the old crowd by having these things remade because your interpretations either. Here's the thing, it's really annoying to see a movie get shot for shot remade, and it's really annoying when you see what the original context of the film was, and then you see a new context that's really wasn't necessary for this film. You know, 
And so far, judged by the trailers, though it is darker and it looks a little bit, it looks slightly serious with a hint of comedy. Um, they reshot shots. <laughs> I mean, like they, they they redid shots from the original film, and you know, they're to me like that. I, I don't care for. I mean, that that kind of lip service. Don't give a fuck about. I really fucking don't because you you could have just. You know, like, when you do lip service like that, or fan service, whatever the fuck you want to call it, you're basically saying, hey, old fans, come watch this new fucking remake of, of your, one of your favorite old fucking films. And every geek out there, well, at least the average one, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I know I'm generalizing as it is, but let's just go by an assumption that the average geek will just basically go, why the fuck would I want to go see a fucking, a remake, when I pretty much have the original fucking film right here, you know? So... With that said, what what's the purpose of that? Is the new is the new generation gonna understand that 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 joke or or, or that shot? No, they're not. So I mean, it's fucking meaningless when you do that. <laughs> so back to my prediction though, because I'm ranting again. Yeah, it's gonna suck on a 60% scale. Um, if I had it, my prediction of what this movie can get out of one out of ten, it's probably gonna get a five. Honestly, I don't see this being as fun as the as the fucking original one. I just don't. I honestly don't. Hopefully I'm wrong, because I mean, why would I want to sit through something I'm not going to fucking enjoy? But um, with that said, I predict it will get a 5 out of 10. It's going to suck on a 60% scale. Um, anything that's funny in there is going to be probably because it's from the old movie. Like, any any funny joke or any anything fucking funny will probably be appropriated from the original film. Which, to me, won't really be that funny. If not done ultimately well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm being brutal to this, but you know what? This is going to be an interesting review because, um, you know, so far for all the movies I have reviewed, I don't think I've reviewed a remake of one of my favorite films because, I mean, when's the last time you had that Hollywood's, uh, what's the last time you've heard Hollywood doing an Abominable Dr. Fives remake or, a, oh God, even this I'm dreading when it comes out, a Death Wish remake. That's another one of my favorite films that's being remade. And, from what I'm hearing, Stallone is a, is is to produce and direct and be in it or something like that. Now, uh, I, I'll save that for when that comes out in theaters. But uh, yeah, so you got my verdict on this so far. Um, expect the Fright Night remake. Uh, expect, I mean, expect the Fright Night uh, review. Uh, I'm not doing. I'm not gonna be doing Conan as a Living After Midnight. After all, I will be doing Conan as possibly a Red Hot review. Um, I'm sorry, but. Fright Night holds clo holds a lot closer to my heart than Conan does. And you can hate me for that. I really don't give a shit. So, with that said, I leave you now to the night. And I also leave you now to go check out the Fright Night trailer, which is on YouTube. Um, go to your local video store. Go to your Blockbuster. Netflix this fucking thing. And check out the original one before seeing the new one. Um, you know, just to give you a hint of what Fright Night was about, I guess. In other words, that's why I'm saying check out the old one. It's a fun film. It really is. It's a fun film. It's a great Saturday night killer. Um, you know, it's great for a date. It's great for when you're alone. It's good, you know, video sound for when you're working. <laughs> I mean, this movie's just fun. I pop it in just about almost every time I'm working on something. So, yeah. Leave you now to the night, everybody. Goodbye! Woo! Pop!